shit all morning. Oh. The side and curtain airbag system is designed to keep passengers safer in the event of a side collision. After deployment, the two airbags show slightly different residual effects. The side airbag, like the front airbag, immediately releases gas after it inflates the airbag, which then deflates quickly. This is because if the airbag is fully maintained, the shock absorbing effect will be reduced, and the rebound force may cause secondary injuries. Therefore, most airbag shock absorption devices have a mechanism in which the air is released at the same time as the shock is absorbed. On the other hand, the curtain airbag has a mechanism in which the inflated airbag is maintained for several seconds. This is to continuously protect the passenger's head in the event of a side rolling accident. Surprisingly, the curtain airbag is more easily deployed than expected, even in moderate side collision or when heavy impacted on the wheel. On the other hand, the side airbag is only deployed in really serious crashes. The side airbag has recently been upgraded with the introduction of the far side or near side airbag which is a more differentiated form of the side airbag. Originally, the side airbag was only located on the door side, but now it can also be deployed on the inside of the seat. In fact, this is not so much a safety system voluntarily developed by the manufacturer, but rather a result of additional testing by reputable vehicle safety inspection agencies. In the second half of 2020, Euro NCAP's crash test procedures and criteria were revised, and one of the changes was to switch from a single occupant condition to a two occupant condition during side impact testing. As a result, when conducting side impact tests with two occupants, there may be a brutal head collision between the front seat occupants as seen in the video and one of the reasons for this is the sustained inflation force of the curtain airbag discussed earlier. To address this issue, manufacturers have been strengthening safety specification by adding airbags that deploy from the center of the seat starting from their latest models. Currently, Volvo has only two cars with a far and near side airbag in their newly released the C40 and Polestar 2. For other car models to adopt this feature, the seats would need to be redesigned, so it is expected to be applied from the full change model changeover. However, since the C40 and Polestar 2 are brand new models that have not been on the market for long, there are not many collision test videos available. The largest two institutions have tested them and that is all. Now let's take a look at the IIHS C40 side crash test video. In this test, only one dummy is placed in the front seat for testing and even with the passenger seat empty, both the driver side and passenger side airbags deploy. It's a bit surprising because the passenger side front airbag is designed not to deploy if there is no passenger, but it seems that the logic is different for the near side airbags. In the Euro NCAP test video of the Porsche 2, which was also conducted with the dummy in the front seat. We can see that side and curtain airbags deploy all together when the side collision occurs. By the way, if we refer to the relevant manuals, both model states that only the opposite side sits a far side airbag is activated upon collision. However, it is noted as normally only, which leaves some room for exceptionality in the operation of this feature. The conditions for airbag activation also vary among makers as seen in the case of the 2022 model year C-Class in which the passenger curtain airbag does not deploy 
despite the dummy being seated. What is certain is that the subdivision of side airbags, which began to be applied by Euro and Cap's new test, appears to be contributing to safety.